जो थोड़ा नॉर्मली आप नहीं देखते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर जैसे बिल्ड किया गया है नैरेटिव जैसे फ्लो करता है सो ओवरऑल क्वाइट ओवरवेलमिंग अभी के लिए तानिया क्या कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स मिल रहे हैं आपको किरदार के लिए क्योंकि हमने देखा बहुत बहुत शेड्स है इस किरदार के जी तो जैसे आपने कहा एग्जैक्टली जैसे सर कह रहे थे कि वी हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ encouragement from people as to how the characters are being built up and how the story has built up so it's really heartwarming ki yes it was a gamble we, we were i mean i i was sold when i read the script and i read the story but still mounting this character was a huge responsibility and so far the response has been very positive people have received it with so much love and i i mean meena's character is getting so much love so it's it's really heartwarming So, how was your experience uh, as a mean uh, mean action? Uh, tell us about that and what preparation you have gone through for this kind of thing. How was the experience being Manakshi? I think one word definitely comes to mind is different. It is nothing like the characters I have done or like me at all. Um, she when when I watch the show also now there's a very different energy to that character which. I did not know I was capable of so thank you to the creators thank you Arun sir thank you Devaloy sir for pushing me into that direction and uh, when I read it only I the one thing that was very attractive about her is that she's very flawed and she accepts that she Minakshi has that self awareness ki ha mujh mein khamiyan hai par main hu aur main aise hi hu so accepting those flaws and you know becoming that person who doesn't have that guard around her ki oh, she has to be perfect but she isn't picture perfect she doesn't even put up a uh, a show that she is an affable character but there is still something about her that can really draw you to her like one of the character says also dr naya's character that there's something about that girl that makes you do things and that was the same for me there was something about that character that just made me do things like it wasn't scripted the the character yes there is a uh, a basic foundation that we had but what we were creating with minakshi was a lot of it was done on on ground like as we were going into the scenes like yeah you know what try this try that and so it was it was great being off script and just being able to play around with that character but tania this is you know completely different from the work that you have already done and also as an actor i mean a person thinks twice to get into that action is मीनाक्षी you won't necessarily be the most liked person in the room yet you draw that uh, authority you you sort of demand that presence in the room when you walk in people look at you people listen to you and i i respect that about her uh, that she is just who she is and i mean for me that was the best thing about playing minakshi that she was nothing like i have ever done Sir, also, uh, yes, I think the way Minakshi is is probably not somebody. I mean, a young girl, and what we are trying to do on screen is not making the audience fall in love with her. Yeah, yeah, uh, and she's the way she is. She's flawed. Uh, she goes and makes mistakes, and uh, largely that's what she does, <laughs> yeah. making mistakes. But sure. she she takes on the world, you know, um, and the world which has. which is dominated by men yeah a world which is do- dominated by rules she takes that on uh, i think she is uh, she is badass yeah. uh, she is nasty yeah. she is not likable but i think she is all heart yeah. and that's really where uh, the character is also sir uh, it is looking larger than life so as a creator tell us about your experience and what 
so it's been a very very difficult show to mount i mean um, nobody knows that we wrote this show much before the pandemic yeah much much before covid even hit i um, so it almost predicted the pandemic yeah uh, not a good thing to say but uh, you know my my interactions with this world of science give me this sense that anything can go wrong any time yeah and that's what made me write this and uh, and then it went through all the troubles of covid the waves and uh, the multiple waves and stopping and starting and uh, then when it got finally shot then it got into uh, whether should be mention covid not mention covid put it in pre covid put it in post covid and all those things happened but one thing that we tried to capture is that in this particular world of science like in many other worlds of science things just can go wrong yeah and that's that's really what the first season's plot is about but for us it is not so much the plot it is the character of meena yeah and uh, if you look at you know long running uh, detective stories not just in on screen but in 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 books and and other forms of media you will realize that the plot becomes uh, unimportant beyond the point in time it is really the detective who drives you forward and what we try to create is this young girl uh who's taking on the world as i said and uh, and moving forward you know what i tried to create was uh and in my mind the young girls are the heroes uh, of the future uh and uh, almost a kind of an inspiration for girls who are growing up saying that they can take on the world uh they can break the rules and, and you know when you're breaking the rules you're not necessarily doing bad things Uh, when you're breaking the rules, you're also doing good things. But you can take it on, and that's why Tanya really, this frail uh, girl who uh, who can take it on, and I think she's gone deep inside uh, Mina, and uh, I'm with all Mina's vulnerabilities, her strengths, her making mistakes, plodding through things, not knowing what detection is all about because she's not really a detective. But hopefully, post this experience, she'll grow into one. Right. Also, sir, uh, have you not planned the theatrical release of this film? Uh, this is a series, so that's a bit good idea. <laughs> How can it be planned to? As I it? mentioned, it's larger than life, so can it be planned to make it in uh, into a film? Uh, no plans right now. The, right now, the plan is to reach as many people with the show that has been put together, and. Uh, try and see if we can take meena and her spirit to the world maybe some other project or that kind of a cinema may detective movies are being you know recently there's this also trend which is happening in bollywood with the bahut sare film aise hain but even for the indian audience you know a grassroots level uh, cinema which is which is connected to detectives and all those things that we have been watching since the 80s and 70s or indian films 60s 60s of course So are there any plans in your mind as a creator? I mean, do you have any plans? I mean, uh, do I like this genre? I love it. I mean, uh, this is what I I really do uh, dig this genre. Do I want to do a large screen project on in this genre? Of course. I mean, <laughs> the moment I get an opportunity to do it, I'll do it. Tanya, you are playing directors for Nirvana also, and uh, it seems like you. You might not end up doing the like <coughs> other end, but still you have that same feeling, and you are doing again and again to find out something which you want to. Like, is it not a normal kind of thing? It has its layers. Tell us about that. What preparation or? So when we were prepping for it only, when I read the title the first time, she seems like a very ordinary, you know, like a girl who you can just pass by and you wouldn't even pay attention to. But um, There is an overriding sense of wanting to do the right thing. Right thing is not necessarily like Sir was saying that it 
does involve a lot of rule breaking and it does involve a lot of you know angst within her as well but uh, the overriding, overriding sense still is that I want to do what would be right by the other person and that is I think the driving force behind Meena that no matter what the risk is she is willing to put in that effort she is willing to walk that extra step or that walk that extra mile because that is who she is she doesn't care about um, the risk that she would be putting herself into because um, that needs to be done that that is the thing about her that that is the thing that needs to be done and she is the one who's going to be executing it because she knows that she lives in a world where people live by the rules where rule breaking is seen as something that uh, you need to put down you need to fit in into the society and Mina doesn't really care about those things she 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 does what she thinks needs to be done and i think that is such a beautiful thing because that is her flaw that she would constantly be willing to push the limits constantly be willing to push the boundaries but at the end of the day she's really trying to do everybody like the people around her a good turn without any sense of uh, selfishness that she's going to get anything from it but a sense of completion that i think that i think is just who Minakshi is. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. One point uh, is that, you know, uh, at times you find uh, Minakshi to be irritating. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a great thing. And, and we have built on her being irritating. Because if you're conforming, yeah. the conformists find people irritating. Yeah. And that's the whole world. And that's one of the things in the world that Minakshi is taking on. Okay. And. Uh, so often when she's being branded as irritating, flawed, uh, nagging, that's exactly what we're trying to build. Yeah, she's know? real. She's I mean, real, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't care about the perfectness. So, and she is not any of those things. She doesn't even pretend to be those things. So, yeah, yeah that annoying uh, habit, those, that annoyance that she already has, uh, that angst that she has, that she, there's a constant irritation around her yeah. and I, I think yeah we did build on those things because Minakshi is those things and I, I feel like without those things she'd be incomplete and she'd be like any other character. Yeah. But Tanya coming to you, you know, I mean, we have seen on the years screen that the characters were there in the film. The characters are in I mean all the big names are there. Saka, Stuffy, Mubi. How was your experience? In real life, and then we come to the real. In real life, working with these actors, I think it was amazing because the thing is that we none of us were like the characters that we were cast into. So I don't know what casting went into this, but amazing casting because it was such a joy to be around these people. Uh, be it Param sir, be it Jishu sir, be it Vinay sir, Zarina ma'am, everybody. I think. Uh, they're such good people, they're such good human beings that obviously, I mean, they're great actors and that goes without saying because they are here. But they're such fun to work with, they're such uh, fun scene partners because uh, I, I think it's very important when you are gelling with your scene partner because there's a, there's a constant exchange of energy, there's a banter that's going on with you guys. So these characters, I mean, I got along with them in real life really well. I think they are, they're such lovely people. So I was just having a great time off set. But on set also, I think everybody understood the the texture of the characters so much that it was never a, a discussion. It, was, it just went along with it. Like everybody just knew what to do and how to respond to each other. So I think that is such a, a for me, it's a blessing as an actor, as a human being to get to meet such interesting people and to be able to share screen space with them obviously is then a whole other conversation. Bollywood <laughs> 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 <laughs>